guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So on my two latest Halo eye looks I received a lot of positive response and since they both were on the warm side I also wanted to create a cool toned one. So yes, if you want to see how I create this then keep on watching. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is by Makeup Geek and this one is called Sand Dollar. And since I'm going for a cool toned eye look today I wanted to use a transition shade which is very on the cool side obviously normally I always go in with orange soda or peach smoothie by makeup geek um, but for this look I really wanted to use one which has more of a ashy undertone so everything fits together now I'm going to use the smoke eyeshadow shade from the Natasha Denona 28 eye palette this is a simple gray matte shade and I'm going to blend this also in my crease and yes, I try to be very carefully because this shade is a lot darker than the shade Sand Dollar. Normally when I create a look like this, I like to use a shade which is in between the Sand Dollar shade and the Smoke Eyeshadow so I can build it up, build it up, more, build it up more carefully without getting harsh lines in my crease. But I don't have a shade like that so it went straight in with the smoke eyeshadow and whenever I do something like this I try to build it up so first I apply a tiny amount on my brush, I tap off the excess product and then I go slightly in my crease with this brush and blend it all out. And when I want it more dark I just apply a little bit more of that smoke eyeshadow and this way it can also work but with a lighter shade it's more easy. Now I'm using Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow. This is a matte black shade. I wanted this eye look to be more darker and smoky. So I really needed to use a black eyeshadow in order to get it like this. Of course you can also go in with a very dark grey shade. Um, but I feel when I have a shade like smoke on my brush and I apply some of a black eyeshadow the mixture of those two shades kind of look dark grey and I just like to use it like this um, black eyeshadow tend to fall out so I'm always very carefully and I feel like whenever I use a white brush I have less fallout I don't know if that's just a consequence but every time I use a white brush it doesn't happen so yes uh, now I'm going back in with the smoke eyeshadow on that same brush that I also used for the black eyeshadow. And like I said, the mixture of those two shades will make it look very dark grey. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Sand Dollar shade. I'm just going to blend this around the edges to make sure that everything is well blended out and that there are no harsh lines. So I'm just going from left to right all over my crease, nothing precise, because since this is a very light shade, you can't really make a mistake with this. Now I'm using again the smoke eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona eye palette. And I'm going to apply this in the inner part of my eyelid. Because I'm going for a halo eye look, I always like to have the edges very dark and the inner part uh, very bright to really get that halo effect. Now I'm going to use the grey-brown eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona eye palette. Um, I made my brush a little bit wet to get the most intensity of this eyeshadow shade. And I press this into the middle of my eyelid using a MAC 242 brush. And I know I say this in all my videos, but this is definitely my favorite brush when it comes to applying shades on the eyelid. And you can get it worldwide, it's available at the MAC store. Now I'm going back in with the smoke eyeshadow. And I'm going to blend this around the edges of where I just applied the grey brown shade. Just to make sure that there are no harsh lines around the edges. Now I'm going to use the chromo, chromo uh, I don't know how to explain this. But it's the silver shade from the palette and this is a very gorgeous shade. Again I made my brush wet to make it extra intense. And I'm going to press this also in the middle part of my eyelid. I just wanted that halo to be a little bit more bright. 
And again, I'm going in with that same blending brush with some of that smoke eyeshadow and I blend this around the edges. Now I use my beauty blender with some concealer on it to uh, wipe away that fallout. Now I'm going back in again with the smoke eyeshadow. And I'm using my flat definer brush by Sigma and I'm going to press this underneath the lower lash line. Now next to the smoke eyeshadow, I'm going to apply the grey brown eyeshadow. Same as I popped in the middle part of my eyelid. And this shade is also going in the middle but underneath the lower lash line. And I'm also going to use that silvery shade. And this one is going around the inner corner. For in the waterline I use the Suiva white eye pencil, I did this off camera. And for my lashes I use lashes from my own lash company, this is a new lash style which I have launched last week. It's called Sultry, I will put a discount code in the description bar. And yes, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you like this cool tone version of the previous Halo Eye Looks I made. Uh, if you want to see any more Halo Eye Looks, let me know and let me know what kind of shades you would like to see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get a notification whenever I upload a new video and thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!